Hi friends, welcome back to my computer class. Today we will study more about MS Word. In the last video we studied some features of MS Word. And this video we will study about how to insert columns, how to insert different types of images, how to insert um, shapes um, and how to apply the page borders and page um, uh, and watermark in this page. Uh, these features we will study in this video. Okay, shall we start? Okay. And how can you insert columns into this web? First, you have to select the matter. Wherever you need to insert a column, that matter you have to select like this way. Then click on insert, sorry, page layout menu. Then there is an option called columns. From that option, you have to select how many columns you need that you have to select from these options. If you need three columns, you select this three. Otherwise, if you need more columns, you have to select more columns. And I need four columns. Then I will type four, number four, or you have to select like this. Then you will get a four columns. Your matter will be divided into four columns like this. Okay. And sometimes we need, uh, we need to create these columns in your matter. Uh, that time, that like that situation, you have to uh, use this option. Okay, and I want to take it the first uh, remaining uh, and again I want to change into one column or the previous position. Then you have to select one. Click on one. Then you will get the previous position. Okay. Otherwise you may use control Z. That means uh, you will get a previous action. Okay, I think you have understood how to insert columns and all. Next one, how can you insert a shape into this one? Okay, then once you place the cursor here, then click on insert button. You have to select a shapes button. Then which shape you need to insert that you have to select like this. One. And you may draw. Okay, and you can change the color of this shape. Shape outline also you can select. Okay, then uh, you can change the shape also like this way and increase the size how. Okay, this is the way oh, and you can place if you click on there, you can place this one, decrease the size like this way. I want to change the shape. Okay. And I will place this one. Okay. Then again, I need to insert a text box. If you want to type in the box, you select this box. Then you may type the matter here. And you can increase can place the text box here and select the matter from here and you can uh, increase the size of the matter and change the style and all okay and if you want to change the color you may select the color from here and shape fill also up available here that means text shape fill okay Like this way, you have to select the things. Otherwise, you select the table shape fill. It will come like this. Fully, if you want to select a full shape filled. <clears throat> okay. This option is also we can use. If you uh, take the copy of this one, you select and press on Ctrl plus C. Again, you have to press Ctrl plus V. Then you will get more more copies. And just to place the... Again, if you don't want to just press on select and press on delete key okay like this way you have to uh, draw the text box and if you want to insert some shapes and i want to first i will delete this one after that i need to insert one shape like this way the course like this you want to type in this one then how can I type here right click on right button then select edit text option 
then you can select in this one okay like this way how to select uh, type the matter in this shape different different shapes we can uh, type the matter here and you can increase the size of this one how using this option it's very simple for you okay any shape from uh, using any shape you can type the matter okay i think you all understood this one. and i want to insert some pictures from how can you insert the picture insert click on picture button then you may select uh, which picture you need uh, first you have to select the drive from here from that you have to select the picture then i will select this picture click on insert button then you will get this picture this much this is a large picture how can i decrease the size see click on here and I can't play. I can move this picture. How can I move this picture? When you work with a picture, first you have to select the picture and click on right button. Then select a wrap text. Then select a square from that one. Then you can easily move this picture. Wherever you need it, there you can easily move that picture. Okay. That is the way we can edit our picture and all okay and we can recreate it then I think you understood how to insert a picture and all and if you have internet connection you may select a picture from the internet Click on insert button. You can select the internet. And the different options are there. If you select, if you want to insert the smart art, you may select the smart art. Different, different shapes are here. Side circle shapes. Okay. You can draw the, when you type the, if you want to type the organic chemi related to chemistry and all. And if you want to make a structure like this, you can select this option and click on OK button. Then you will get a like this table. Here also. We have to just a geek wrap text. Click on right button, you click on wrap text, then select a square. Then you can change the shape easily. Move the shape. Okay. Wherever you need it, that will come like this. And if you want to change the color, you may select this one. You can change the color like this. One. And you can type the matter here. Like this way, you may select the and type the matter. If you don't want to, just click that, delete them. Okay. Then, how can you insert the uh, page border? Click on page layout button. And then there is a um, option. There is an option called the page color. If you want to give the color, you can give the color like this way. If you want to give the page border from this one. You can select any border. Okay. And color also you may select. Okay, click on OK button. You will get like this border to this. Uh, if you are, uh, sometimes you are creating birthday cards and all or notice, you can use this border and all. Okay, and some uh, arts also there. Some pictures also there. You may select, uh, click on Art button, and you, from this button you can select uh, some pictures for the border. See, the border will look like an artistic look. It will give an artistic look. I think you all understood this one. And sometimes we need to give the watermarks to your page. Then click on this button. Then you will get a, you select any one of this one. Then you will get a watermarks to this one. We can see this one. Okay, see, see, this is a watermark. And I want to change this watermark. I don't know. This page, I'll delete. Then only you can see. See the watermark and I want to change this watermark then I select custom watermark which one custom remove watermark means it will be removed custom watermark means you may select any type watermark and if you want to give a picture you click on select picture then select any picture like this click on okay apply and okay see 
the picture will be come like this as a watermark okay you can give any type or text also it may give like this way adding watermark border shading i think you all understood about these points is a very important for you when you are creating a artistic look documents uh, all the options are very helpful for you if you like this one please share to others if you want to get my previous videos please subscribe my channel and if you want to get my next videos please press on that bell button then only you will get my videos again and again don't forget to subscribe my channel. We will meet in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.